now the coin talk, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Across midfield. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Throws it. The ball is knocked out, incomplete. That is textbook pass defense. As soon as the ball hit the receiver's hands, he was all over. From the 38-yard line, second down. Mike Ford, Mike Ford! He steps out at the 35-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. Bring him down at the 30. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the moment. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Nice run there. And they convert for the first down. And Brad, the credit here needs to go to the offensive line. They did a great job of opening up a running lane for the back. It up the middle for a nice run. From the 18 yard line, it's second down. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. They'll spread the field with five wide. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Kicks away, and he got it. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Tackled after a decent pickup. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. It's the tailback. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. play to the left. He's at midfield, and he's taken down around the 44-yard line. And a big run on third down. Anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. From the 44-yard line, first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Let's go! Runs right for a nice game. And he is drilled at the 
yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Gets it out in a hurry. This one is incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. And this play is number eight on the drive. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. Third down again. Come out in a five wide set. Quick strike to the back and he drops it. And this one could be on the defense. That'll bring up fourth and long. And we should be seeing the kicker here. Good stand by the defense to keep them out of the end zone on this drive. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Virginia Tech is looking to tie things up. The kick is up. It's got the distance, and it's good. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. Three, three tie. Romo looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Tackle made the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line. It's second down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. They go right and he's tackled behind the line. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. Shoved out of bounds around the 37-yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 37. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Smith is the putter. Bring him down at the 36. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. He's under pressure. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game.
incomplete. Brought down. Nothing doing. Moore awaits the snap. And they push him out around the 29-yard line. Got to wonder right now which offense is going to open this thing up a little bit. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open some plays up. Because right now, not only are they losing the battle up front, but they're really not testing the defense downfield at all. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And down he goes around the 25-yard line. The quarterback tried to do a little too much by himself. Hey, maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. From their own 25-yard line, second down. to the wide out and he can't pull it in. No chance. Right, three, three, three. Rose complete and he's hit hard behind the line. I don't know what game plan this offense is running. It might need to be reassessed by this coaching staff. Sims is back awaiting the punt. Tackle made the 49 yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. We've got a second and 11. Ball on their own 48. And they get nice yardage on that run. Five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Throws out and through his hands. Can't ask for much more than a three and out. Great job, defense. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And two, go! X7! Brought down at the 17-yard line. The option is all about timing, and on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. From their own 17-yard line, second down. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. Offense lines up in a five wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. Throws it deep. Missed him. I know that this quarterback and wide receiver were very confident they'd be able to execute this play. They worked all week long in practice on this play. The problem is the wide receiver got too close to the boundary, he just didn't give himself or the quarterback's throw much of a chance to make the reception. And he's tackled at the 44. Always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Finds his man and they 
take him down immediately. They're about four yards away here on second down. Stop right around the six yard line. That was a good looking play, and it sort of caught the defense off guard. Looking to capitalize on the big run, it's now first and goal. Run, run, run. Yeah, high, high. Set. Run. Tackle at about the five yard line. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Virginia Tech is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Caught, and he's hit immediately. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. Right down after a nice run up the middle. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Yeah, any time a quarterback makes a throw like this, the best thing a wide receiver can do is come over to the quarterback and pat him on the back and tell him to shake it off and let's make the next play a better play. The worst thing you can do is put your arms up in the air as if you're blaming the quarterback. Come over, tell him it's all right, and move on. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. to his receiver. They'll bring him down at the 46. James picks up seven yards with that catch. The Hokies will use their first time out of the half. Smith is waiting for the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. He's got it with room to run. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. We've got a first and 10 all on the 40-yard line. Man, watch out here. And he's tackled around the 46-yard line. Virginia Tech's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Virginia Tech has a three-point lead. Fires that 
Quickly incomplete. Well defended that time. You're right. Great job here by the defender playing the ball, keeping his balance, and getting in the way of that pass. Makes the catch and look out. And he's taken down at the 48. Check, check. 98 Weasel! 98 Weasel! Buddy! Got it. And he goes down quickly. Check, check. Hammerhead! Hammerhead! Set! And he's hit immediately. Complete. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Check, check. Stay on. Check, check. Stay on. Stay on. Green 90. Green 90. He rifles it to the left. Picked off. It's the cornerback. Oh, oh. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. From their own 17-yard line, first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's out to the 30, gains his way to the 33-yard line. That's the end of the half, and believe it or not, folks, it's still anyone's ball game. 6-3, Virginia Tech. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The passing numbers put up in the first half are hardly gaudy. Less than six yards per pass for these two teams. So you look at it and you want your quarterback to take care of the ball. I, turnovers are killers. I yep. get that. A little, but, too, a little too conservative in the first half of the quarterback. You want him to be a little bit more aggressive out there? But if you're not, then it's going to make it extremely easy on the defense. And I say that because if you don't push the ball down the field, I don't have to respect the whole field. There's a reason the field's 52 plus yards wide and 100 yards long. I mean, if you make me honor that and you you make it, you throw it down the field 30 or 40 yards and you make me run all the way down there and cover that area as well, it makes it a lot harder on a defense. Right now, the passes are so short, you're only making me cover 30, 40 yards. It makes it easy on a defense. The pass rush, you get your hands up and try to deflect balls. You know the ball's coming out early. It makes everything extremely simple on a defense when you make passes just dink and dunk, dink and dunk. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. King from the one. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Virginia Tech holds a field goal lead. They bring him down in the backfield. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. Second down and 11. Ball on the 26-yard line. Here we go! Tackle after a decent run up the gut. They come out in a five-wide set. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Tackle made the 39-yard line. First down, 10 to go. 
Ball on their own 39. The Golden Flash had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Pass complete and taken down immediately. it out to maybe the 46 yard line they need about three yards to get the first down here on third down fires it out and he's level at the 46 yard line more to punt He fields the punt at the 13, and he's taken down at the 24-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They'll get it off here. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. their own 22-yard line. It's second down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And he's immediately tackled. Tight end right. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Fights forward to about the 33. Sims is back deep to return. Sims takes it at the 32. Caught down at the 45. Kent State's a team that nobody gave a chance today, but they're right where they want to be. I think just the mindset of this football team, they need to be complimented for that because it's easy to come in, be a bit intimidated, be a bit overwhelmed. They've put that to the side, gone out and executed, and I think the longer they've stayed in this game, the more confidence that's instilled. Got it to his man on the screen, and down he goes at midfield. From midfield, it's second down. Virginia Tech is up a field goal. Now he pitches it, gets to about the 47-yard line. So it's another third down tight, upcoming tight, here. Tight. Three down, three down. Mike, 28. Mike, 28. Let's go! Takes it up the 
middle for a nice run. This is the ninth play of this drive. Virginia Tech is up by three. There's a strike complete. He's pushed out of bounds around the 23-yard line. From the 23-yard line, second down. like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. And they make the stop at the 21. Lack of offense or great defense, call it what you will. We head to the fourth quarter. The Hokies in front. 9-3. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Larry, Larry. Mike four, Mike four, and two. Got a man, but he's tackled back Eight. behind the line of scrimmage. And they back up three yards on that play. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Third and long. This defense digs in here, and it could be their ball game. Black Tackle right around the 20. Smith is the punter. He's got the corner. Sims takes out the 47. He's tackled to the 38-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Virginia Tech with a six-point lead. Makes it out to about the 26. First and ten, ball on the 26-yard line. Five wide. Got his man. Oh, what a hit! Ten yards to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. the six-yard line. Third down, and 
They're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's taken down at the five. Kicks away, and it is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're set to go for another round. Gets it. He's in space. At the 30. For the 20. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. First and goal after the big pass play. Don't get nervous. Mike Four. Dogs four. And he's tackled at the 10. The defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle. This is from the five-yard line. It's third and goal. Less than three minutes in the game. Teams come trotting back out onto the field. And down he goes at the one yard line. The fullback back to the original line of scrimmage, and that's it. Second down. Got to be careful down here, deep in your own territory. They get the safety. The defense saw their opportunity. They got penetration and never really gave them a chance to get out of the end zone. He's to the 40. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Man, this has just been a classic defensive battle all game long. I've been so impressed with both of these defenses, especially the defensive line. They've been stout against the run. They've gotten pressure on the quarterback. It's made it tough for either one of these offenses to put up any points. Just over two minutes in the game. Nice run to the left there. Second down, three yards to go. Ball on the 46. Five wide. Quick strike, and he drops it. From the 30-yard line. First down. Open man, quick 
strike, and he can't pull it in. Come out in an empty backfield. Go four. He's scrambling. Sheds that one. And they got it. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the pass into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike four, Mike four. Let's go, let's go. Three, three, three. Pressure got to him, and he put it on the ground. And he is drilled at the 45. Good thing they got the ball back. That fumble could have really cost him. Golden flashes call a timeout. That's their second of the half. This is their last chance. They need a big play here. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. The last drive not only failed to produce points, but it cost them two. Defenses get a big boost when they can score a safety, so expect to see these guys flying to the ball in this possession, too. Takes the ball right. Tackle at the 47. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 47. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Favorite play in football if you're a quarterback. Take a knee. Virginia Tech is up seven. Gets it again, this one's going nowhere. And he'll be stopped well short of the first down. You have the lead in the fourth quarter, and it's third and long. Why risk a turnover? Just play it safe and work the clock. <laughs> Scoring points was a special occasion on this day. It's final. Virginia Tech 12, Kent 5. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.